Hello and welcome to VB411. I'm your host, Ms. Information, the know-it-all in City Hall here to bring truth and clarity to misconception and rumors. Today we're wrapping up 2018 with some questions from our viewers and a special year-end gift, our blooper reel. First up in our beach bucket, oh, a new one from next door. Now a resident sent us a screenshot of a post discussing storm drains. Jeff said, the storm drains have commutators that chop up leaves and twigs. It is designed to handle normal amounts of debris. I agree we shouldn't rake or blow all of our yard debris into the street, but at the same time, flooding happens because the amount of water exceeds the pumping capacity of the pumps. Well, let's dissect that statement since there's a bit of truth in it. First, Jeff is correct that we absolutely shouldn't be blowing or raking yard debris, or any trash for that matter, into the storm drains or gutters. Even if the muck doesn't clog the drains, it can encourage algae growth in our lakes and waterways. Now, it's also true that a sufficient amount of rain can overwhelm the capacity of the stormwater system. Think of it like this. If you put water in your kitchen sink faster than the drain can remove it, it's going to overflow. Thankfully, we can control how much water comes out of the tap, but Mother Nature, not so much. Now, what's not accurate? There are no devices in the storm drains that chop up twigs and leaves. In fact, most of our stormwater system is passive, which means gravity and the force of the water help move it through the pipes, not any special mechanisms or pumps. The city does look after the drains, but with more than 40,000 spread across 300 square miles of the city, we rely on residents to report clogs and other issues so we can address them quickly. Residents are already responsible for keeping the curbs and sidewalks up to the pavement in front of their property free of litter and debris. You can take it a step further by adopting a nearby drain and pledging to keep it clear of debris and report any issues you notice. You even get to name it as part of the process. For more information about the Adopt-A-Drain program, check out our previous episode on the topic or visit www.vbgov.com slash adoptadrain. Now, next up from our mailbag, residents often message us asking how they can report issues like a pothole, traffic signal or sign problem, recycling, graffiti, or just other issues that may need some attention. Good news. There are a couple of ways to report problems. The easiest way is to give us a call. Simply dial 311 from any phone in Virginia Beach, and one of our call takers will collect your report and get it to the correct department. If you prefer to text rather than call, we've got you covered. Head on over to www.vbgov.com slash report a problem. From there, you can pinpoint the site of what needs to be addressed, add a description, and even a photo if you have one. And finally, before we wrap up for the year, there's a bit of news I wanted to share with you. Now, I am not one to brag, but... I have been named Person of the Year by Dictionary.com. I mean, it is such an honor, don't you think? <laughs> and I just want to thank everyone who works on the show and you, the viewers, for watching. I mean, I realize what? Oh, um, so there was a bit of a misunderstanding. My uh, producer is telling me the word of the year is misinformation. Word, person. I guess that's what happens when a story gets filtered through a few people. <laughs> well, remember, facts are our friends. Good to check your facts. Preferably before you go on camera. Well, now you're in the know. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you stick around for our 2018 blooper reel. Do you have a burning question you'd like to have answered? Send your ideas to misinfo at vbgov.com. See you in the new year. Hello and welcome to VB411. I remember when we had to sneak snacks and drinks into the library. So let's uh, go this way and uh, I'm not gonna be the thing that I messed up.
reconciliation, it would go into effect for the FY19 fiscal year. This is a little, 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 little. All right. Fourth time's a charm. If you've got any lingering questions, send me an email and I'll get the answers for you. In today's beach bucket. Dang, the drink's sinking. Now we're, out, not we. Now I'm out here in Chesapeake Colony. Don't like that one. Oh my God. To view more of Chrissy's story, Head on over to our YouTube channel and search for Chrissy's Quas <laughs> Chrissy's Crosswalk. Chrissy's Crosswalk. It's an alliteration. It's a bad alliteration. It's your fault. You wrote it. Chrissy's Crosswalk. <laughs> Hi. What's up? It's the info out on the booth. I'm gonna have to redo that. I just want to thank everyone who works on the show, 